Michio, when you hear Vigna's famous phrase, the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics, uh, how do you react? I think it's in two parts. First of all, why does mathematics work anyway? Well, what is mathematics? Now, some mathematicians may disagree with me, but I believe that after you strip away all the highfalutin words and whatever, what's left is counting. Mathematics is basically counting. In other words, set theory with the laws of logic. So that if A equals B, B equals C, then logic says that A equals C. So I think that counting, counting a very sophisticated, complicated objects, counting plus logic is the reason why mathematics works. It has to work because it is logical and it counts things. Now, what I find shocking though, is that this simple set of counting rules can describe the physical right. universe. That is astonishing. And why is that? Well, how many laws of physics are there? Believe it or not, Einstein's theory is one inch long. That's right. It's nothing but the Riemann curvature tensor set to the metric tensor, one inch long. Well, the quantum theory, which governs everything around us, atoms, molecules, DNA, that's a little bit longer. That's about a foot long. So on a sheet of paper, you can have all the fundamental laws of reality on just one sheet of paper. Now that's unreasonable. That is shocking. I am not shocked that mathematics works because it's logic and it's counting, set theory. But what is astounding is that our universe is so simple. And why is that? I think it's because at the beginning of time, there was the God equation that Einstein spent 30 years of his life chasing after. An equation perhaps no more than one inch long that would allow Einstein to quote, read the mind of God. That one inch equation as it evolved broke. It broke into a theory of light, gravity, the nuclear force. And that's why I can summarize all the laws of the universe on a sheet of paper this big. Now the problem is that Einstein's theory and the quantum theory don't like each other. In fact, they hit each other. And my job mm -hmm. is to try to put them together into one equation that is the God equation. Mm -hmm. And that's what is mm -hmm. the origin of why the universe and mathematics seem so unreasonably effective. Because it all comes from one equation. So you are looking at the deep reason why it's the case. Um, I guess I'm starting more simply to say, is it the case? Is it the case that mathematics has this unreasonable power to describe the physical world? Because the physical world, uh, it, 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 there's no uh, a priori reason that it should be amenable to mathematics, the inverse square rule of uh, of, uh, of gravity and the effectiveness of gravity. Why, why is it that precise? Why isn't it, you know, one over 1.987, et cetera, with a long, why is it so precise in, in this way? Well, the laws of physics are so precise and beautiful and gorgeous because they all originate from one equation, which has a symmetry. What is beauty? Beauty is symmetry. What is symmetry? Symmetry is when you take a set of objects, rotate them into each other, and yet it remains the same, mm -hmm. like an ice crystal, like a cube. Things that are rotated remain the same. And we think that at the beginning of time, there was a supersymmetry. Supersymmetry is a symmetry of string theory. It is the biggest symmetry known to science. It includes all subatomic particles. It includes you and me. We are part of supersymmetry. And that is embodied into that equation. Now, what is embarrassing is then the next question you may ask me, and you're hinting at now, is where did that come from? That is, yes, okay, maybe there is this God equation. Yes, maybe there is a unified field theory. Yes, maybe Einstein was right. But where did that theory come from? And my answer to that is I think it is logically inevitable. That is, it's the only game in town because all other alternatives are illogical and self-contradictory. In other words, two plus two is four. String theory says so, but there are other theories of physics where two plus two is five. We rule those theories out. 
And so I think when you rule out all the mathematically inconsistent theories, there's only one left, and that is the God equation, the theory of everything. So why this equation then? It's because it is the only game in town, because all alternatives are logically inconsistent. Why, why would that be the case, though? Why could not reality have a whole series of, uh, of uh, physical structures that uh, can be approximated by mathematics, but not literally described by it? Uh, well, again, if Why you, is that logically inconsistent? Well, it turns out that if, and this is a big if, if our universe did start from one equation and then broke into the equations sure, of no, today, sure. it would explain why. Now, the, the weakness of that approach is, well, why this equation? Why not another equation at the beginning of time? And the answer to that is that I think they are logically inconsistent. So theories that have, you know, instead of the inverse square law, 2.111111, two, 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 dot, 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 dot. Sure. They are not allowed because they are logically inconsistent. String theory, if you start with a theory with that power law, is mathematically inconsistent. Inconsistent with what? Inconsistent with the quantum theory. Quantum theory gives you what are called quantum corrections. Quantum corrections have to be very small or zero. It turns out these quantum corrections disappear only in 10 dimensions and in 26 dimensions. Mm. So in other words, string theory is logically the only game in town in my point of view. I could be wrong. Mm. What I'm saying is that all other alternatives are not just wrong because they don't agree with the universe. They're also wrong because they are logically inconsistent. They give you two plus two equals five. Looking at the phrase unreasonable effectiveness, let's just quickly break it into its two parts. So the effectiveness, what, what does that mean for mathematics to be, have effectiveness? Well, it means that it effectively describes reality, that we're not talking fantasy, we're not talking about uh, ghosts and demons, no, we're talking about things you can touch and feel. It is effective in terms of being able to replicate the properties of things we can touch. Okay. And then why unreasonable? What's, why is it unreasonable? Why isn't it reasonable? Well, it's unreasonable because it didn't have to be that way. I'm saying it did have to be that way. Okay. In other words, the answer to the question, why couldn't it have been any other way, is that it can't be any other way because they are not compatible with the quantum theory. The quantum corrections are divergent. They are anomalous. They do not obey the laws of quantum theory. In other words, Quantum theory is a set of mathematical statements that have to be obeyed, but if you disobey some of those statements, you get all sorts of horrible consequences, like two plus two equals five. Therefore, we want to preserve these quantum corrections being small or zero, and that puts constraints on the theory. It forces string theory to be 10-dimensional. Now, I would prefer string theory to be four-dimensional, because then we can start to get immediate results we can test, but no. String theory says it prefers to be in 10 dimensions. Why? Because in nine dimensions, in 11 dimensions, you can prove two plus two is five. Therefore, mm -hmm. those theories have to be rolled out. Mm -hmm. So in other words, why, you said, why isn't the inverse square law one over r to the 2.1111? The answer is, if it was, two plus two would equal five. Yet there are some physical descriptions of reality mathematically that, that are not precise. The orbits of planets is an example of uh, following the law of gravity, but the, there's no special geometric structure to them. Yeah, but that's because uh, the laws that we see are approximation to Einstein's laws, and therefore we expect Newtonian physics to be uh, incorrect at high velocities and high gravitational fields. Mm -hmm. But then Einstein's theory is also incomplete. We expect it to break down in areas near a black hole and the beginning of time. Mm. And that again forces us to string theory because only string theory allows you to go before the Big Bang and through the center of a black hole. All other theories blow up in your face or are mathematically inconsistent. So what I'm saying is that all the laws of nature could be summarized on a sheet of paper that sheet of paper can be summarized, I hope, into an equation one inch long, string theory. Why that theory? Because any other theory is logically inconsistent. Two plus two is five in these other universes.